Hey everybody, Logan here. After the recent 2024 EVO, looks like we got some more news. Recently I just covered, we might be getting a new Marvel vs. Capcom game. Well, well, if you want to know all the specifics about that, go check on that video. Link's in the description, I'll drop it down there. But with that being said, it looks like Marvel vs. Capcom, the new fighting collection, might just be the tip of the Capcom iceberg. What? Okay, let me get into the article and then we'll explain a little more. So this article comes from Digital Trends. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection is just the start of Capcom's retro revivals. Thank you. So I was reading uh, this article earlier. I, I skimmed through it and I realized they're, they're talking about Marvel vs. Capcom, the collection, and the recent collections that they've put out and how popular they've become. And if this is the case, why not do more? Introduce a, a younger audience to these classic games that old heads like myself grew up with. Let's take a, a closer look. We're gonna we're gonna skip ahead in the article because I wanted to Ah, I, I hate websites with all these ads all over the place. So here we go, future collections. Capcom's commitment to its ports is commendable. Matsumoto, who was also a producer on Street Fighter VI, says that Capcom's developers have a mutual interest in working on both new titles and bringing legacy games onto newer platforms. Even director Takayuki Nakayama is involved, though he isn't directly on the development team of these collections. There's a possibility that Capcom will release more collections in the future, but a big factor is where the games originated from. The first two collections have consisted of arcade games, which aren't huge hurdles during the porting process. Releasing more sophisticated games, like ones from the PlayStation 2 or PS3 era, are a bit more difficult. The benchmark that Matsumoto sets for himself when creating a collection of past fighting games is that he wants them to be playable online. All right, before we go any further, I'm thinking, do they have to be fighting games? Can we have uh, uh, Dino Crisis? Can we have all the Devil May Cries? We've already got the Mega Mans. Well, what about all the classic Street Fighters, all the Supers, all the Alphas? Ooh, what about those? There's so many other, like, uh, well, why don't they just put all the Resident Evils on one? There's so many collections that they can do that are outside of the fighting genre. Or you've got Final Fights. Why not the Final Fights? Why not the Beat-em-ups? We've seen a resurgence in Streets of Rage. Why not a decent one of those we've seen a resurgence in double dragon but let, let's keep reading we've had talks about the possibility of creating a brand new svg chaos game svg don't they mean svc i think that's a mistype svg chaos that would be snk versus capcom chaos yeah with SNK surprise dropping SNK versus Capcom SVG Chaos, SVC Chaos. Onto modern platforms over the weekend, there's a real appetite for these retro fighting games that will perhaps lead to re releases of other SNK versus Capcom games. SNK versus Capcom 2 EO. Oh, just give us SNK versus Capcom, SNK versus Capcom 2, SNK versus Capcom 2 EO. And they give us, how about this? SNK versus Capcom 3. <gasps> yeah, it's not like we don't want to see that. Come on, us fighting fans are just... Ah, we'd, we'd say, take my money, you know? All right, let's keep reading. Quote, we've had talks about the possibility of creating a new SVG Chaos game or re-releasing more past SNK versus Capcom titles for modern platforms. Matsumoto says... These are all things that we want to do and are very optimistic about. And now it's just a matter of when can we do it? End quote. Not just 
Capcom. Why not the, the Tatsunoku? Remember, that's kind of locked to the Wii. Capcom versus Tatsunoku. I know that's a big thing in Japan and not here in the in the West, in the States or Europe. But we did get it. And it was a solid crossover. I just wish it wasn't locked to the Wii. Imagine bringing that to the Switch or to the PlayStation and having that online. Yeah, the reason I left out Xbox is because none of this stuff is coming to Xbox. That's a whole nother can of worms why they're not bringing it to the Xbox. But hey, am I surprised? No. Most people I know are like, whatever, it's PC, um, Switch, uh, PlayStation. Uh, what more do you need? And I'm like, I get it. Maybe it's the controller. Maybe it's Microsoft. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know, but that remains to be seen. Maybe they'll make an announcement on why it's not coming to, to Xbox platforms. But... Most gamers have one of these three alternate platforms. If you own an Xbox, there's a good chance you have a PC. And if not, you've got maybe a handheld PC console like uh, Steam Deck or ROG Ally or MSI Claw, and you can play it on there. So you, you can always do it that way. If not, Switch. Again, like I mentioned in all my other videos where I'm talking about people who own Xboxes, most likely they own a Switch as well. If they don't own a Switch, they own a PlayStation. If they don't own a PlayStation or a Switch, they have a PC. So there's going to be a way for them to be able to play it. It seems like Capcom wants the Street Fighter IP everywhere. Can you blame them? Matsumoto has already stated that Capcom wants to create a new Marvel vs. Capcom game and both Terry Bogard and Mai Shiranui from SNK's Fatal Fury are joining Street Fighter VI's playable roster as the series' first ever guest characters. There's also the possibility of returning the favor to SNK when Fatal Fury City of Wolves launches in 2025. I'm looking forward to that one. I really like all these fighting games, whether it's Capcom or the King of uh, Fighters and looking forward to a new Fatal Fury. I played a lot of that stuff on Super Nintendo growing up and then not as much on the PlayStation. I played more Street Fighters on there and I played my Mortal Kombat's on uh, Nintendo 64 and Super Nintendo and so on, but I actually think it's time for Capcom to maybe take back the title of fighting game champion because look at the last couple of generations, you know, Street Fighter 5 wasn't that great, Street Fighter 6 is solid, Street Fighter 4 was fantastic, but Mortal Kombat's been pushing it out, and now I think it's time for them to go, all right, we're taking back the crown. That's debatable on what you think is the the best fighting franchise i've always been someone who likes mortal kombat equally as i like the the capcom fighter so but hey we might even see a dark stalkers return god what what how great would that be to see a new dark stalkers game in, in 2024 probably not 2024 25 or 26 but hey that would be fantastic let's keep going quote the idea has come up during ongoing conversations on just about everything, and we're just trying to throw the kitchen sink, end quote. Matsumoto says. How awesome is that? So this is the next line that makes me go, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches later this year on PlayStation 4, PS5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Well, it's actually a PS4 game that's backwards compatible on PlayStation 5. It's one of those things. So I pre-ordered both myself, but we don't have a date. There's a lot of people hoping, well, in my last video, I got comments, hope it's not December, hope it's not December. I hope it's not December either. I have both my copies paid off, pre-ordered and paid off for Switch and PlayStation. I'd love to be able to take it with me, but I also want to have it on uh, the PlayStation just because of better online infrastructure. So what do you guys think about that? This is, um, this is, this looks really, really promising, in my opinion. To have more collections, whether it be beat-em-ups or survival horrors or other classic franchises all in one from the PS1, PS2 era as well. I, I know they were really talking about fighting games, but I think beat-em-ups fit into that bubble, I guess you could say. But... And what, why, why can't we think outside of that bubble and see maybe other Capcom collections from that PS1 and PS2 era? Dino Crisis. Why can't we get Dino Crisis 1, 2, and 3, even though 3 was kind of pooey? But think, think about that. Think about that. 
yeah, I, I know I'm 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 going a little out there, but I really would love to see this. Tell me what Capcom collections would you guys want to see outside the fighting game sphere or inside the fighting game sphere? It doesn't matter to me. Just do, what Capcom collections would you like to see released on PlayStation 4, 5, 6, Xbox Series X, Switch, Switch 2, Switch Pro, blah, 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 blah. What have you? Drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video make sure to tune in every thursday night 9 p.m eastern ish for ready to start podcast it's a great time great time fantastic time thank you guys so much god bless you all like what we say be legendary thanks again